What is up, guys? It's your favorite transparent YouTuber, Transparent Hoodie, giving you guys a anime and I guess slash manga video. Because if you've seen the title, obviously, you know, like you're gonna know that this video is going to be about me discussing which is better, anime or manga. Um, Besides that, though, uh, I think I'm also going to post this video on the Anime Legends channel. So be sure to check that out. Be sure to check out their content. Um, Kimmy or Kimmy Chan, the one that, you know, pretty much is one of the few people that, you know, are a part of that, you know, channel and stuff like that are very cool. We're super close friends. Like, I love her to death. Like, like please be nice to her. Be Please be kind to her and um, make sure to show her some love on our end like let's show her community some love but besides that back to the topic at hand so straight up anime versus manga so already off the bat as i was thinking about the title of this video and stuff like that i, I already felt like it's somewhat pretentious and obviously like when it comes down to it it's all a matter of preference so i understand like there's going to be people that genuinely want to know which is better as a up-and-coming fan or a newer fan and then obviously there's the veteran fans that will just see a video like this and just be like oh it, it at the end of the day it doesn't matter but like i do want to just talk about the pros and the cons of both anime and manga and some of the i guess some of the topics and just some of the talking points that i i've never heard anyone said but it is definitely do change your experience i'm telling you like it like manga i feel like manga for the most part is not as popular as anime only because of the simple fact that the anime does more to entice you so like even though you're not you might not be watching the best anime in the world like there's so many different other things and incentives to make you more i guess you could say either attached to make you more susceptible to liking it to make you more just inclined to give it a longer chance than a manga I, i've always felt that if you truly want to know whether a series is good or not you kind of have to read the manga because it doesn't have much to rely on besides its storytelling right and your own imagination but that's just an older perspective that I had when I was in like high school and college. Like I always told myself to read the manga first. If I can't get into the manga, there's no point in watching the anime because most of that is fluff. And I don't believe any of that is like manipulation. It's not manipulation. Obviously, it's an anime. So like they have to try their best to captivate whatever fan that fandom or fan base that they can. This is why um, this is such an unfortunate thing because I feel like storytelling took a massive hit because of this, but it, it is what it is. But this is why in the industry, people favor certain voice actors. People would, you know, get the best composers. People would get the best, like, you know, animators just to animate a series because nine out of 10 of the times, those are the more focused points than a story. So, like, again, even though the story itself might not be the best with those three elements I just mentioned, it kind of does help the anime kind of or it just kind of helped the series whether it was a manga originally or an anime it's just going to help the series in the long run like dragon ball super like dragon ball super in context anyway i'm not gonna go into too much detail but dragon ball super the manga to the mass audience is shit so i wouldn't be surprised once the anime comes back out we're going to have another divide like dbz always is dbz always just had this massive divide to it where or dragon ball in general i, I think the Dragon Ball, the original is safe. Like most people kind of just chop it up for what it is, but Z, Super, GT, like all of these other iterations of Dragon Ball has just been like massive, con like, ma like super controversial, right? But anyway, but yes, people will be more inclined to enjoy, and I'm not saying it's better, but they'll be more inclined to enjoy the anime over the manga because of all the extra elements that's being added, like the voice actor you love voicing his, you know, iconic character or the composing of the music and just the OST and also on top of that, just the way how it's animated, which hopefully it is animated good. But yeah, but here's my argument, though. And this is why and just for the record, I do prefer manga over anime. I'm one of the yes, I'm one of those people. And no, I don't prefer manga over anime for the corny explanation of it's faster. I always felt like that was such a throwaway response when it comes to just, oh, why do you like manga? Oh, because it's it's just faster than the anime, right? Like, no, like I I, I really don't care the speed of when, what things come out. I, I've kind of hit the point. I mean, obviously when I was younger in like middle school or high school, like I, everybody was just 
everybody around that time had enough free time. If you was like a diehard or just like a uh, dedicated manga or anime watcher, we all had that free time. So it was just like you had no choice but to unfortunately wait for your favorite show or favorite series to come back. But I mean, trust me, once you get into like adulthood and once you get a little older and stuff like that, you really don't care much when these things come out. If they do come out, cool. If they don't, I mean, whatever, right? Like you have other things to get done and other priorities. So that's why I kind of, um, I'm just like, eh, about it. But yeah, so when it comes to manga and the reason why I would always prefer manga is just because like reading something and taking up taking it upon yourself to breathe life into this series as you're reading it is just a way more better experience to me compared to an anime because like there has been times and there has been you know situations where well it's not massive situations but there has been times where straight up i've watched the i read a manga and obviously like i said i don't care I, i'm i'm for both camps right I, I would watch an anime i would read a manga but i read the manga first and because of the way how I myself had interpreted the manga and not based off of context, but based off of just character personalities, character interactions and the way how I overall saw it when the anime came out, it just felt so unenjoyable. And it's not because I had like an expectation set. It's more or less. I just felt like the narrative that I was spinning in my head and some of the things that I was trying to implicate for these characters was just a little bit better in my opinion. So like, when I was reading it, I just had a way more fun experience. Like, um, even for prison school, like I love the prison school manga. And I would still say to this day, like as an etchy or just as a, like, just as a, you know, perverted little comedy about some boys hoping to get, you know, some girls and stuff like that. I would always recommend the manga over the anime because I don't know. It's just something about like the way how I was able to enjoy that series while reading it, using my imagination and having to use my, um, I guess, my previous experiences to implicate like what some of these things may mean, how these characters may act, the goofiness and over the topness that I'm able to control as I'm reading a story and narrative, like pretty much um, the anime kind of don't, you kind of don't get that. Uh, scenes, character interactions and pacing is all 100% on the anime and the animator who feels like, okay, this is necessary for that. That's necessary for this. This is necessary for that. And um, especially for a comedy, it, it kind of sucks where it's just like certain jokes or certain gags, it's really hit and miss depending on how long you have it last for or what the context is. And I'm sorry, man, because prison school, they linger on, well, the anime anyway, I just felt like they linger on too many particular gags for too long. Not necessarily saying that it was a, concept that was overused because that's fine you know like if it's something that was overused and used multiple times throughout the story that's cool but like I, I feel like the way how the anime portrayed certain things like they lingered on too many jokes while it was going on for way too long that's kind of why it felt a little bit disjarring but yeah that's just one of the arguments that I personally have when it comes to just like the whole manga versus anime and I get it you know I, I get why people love watching anime and would not like they would not even really think to read the manga first because, you know, of all the great arguments people make, you know, visualization, you get to better visualize what's going on within context, especially for a fighting oriented show. You get to see the choreography that goes into the fights. I understand, you know, also voice acting plays a part. If you don't have the best imagination or imagination or you're not trying to imagine what these characters could potentially be like or what they could potentially be saying and how it's coming across, then obviously that's why you have these great voice actors that breathe life into these characters. Again, I get it. And then the biggest and the, I think the most talked about trait or just most talked about like i said trait huh the most talked about thing about why anime is so good is just because of the ost sometimes like people just just like the music or the openings you know the openings do play a massive part into why like a few people honestly like i know it sounds weird but like it's true like the openings do play a massive part for why some people love a show to like death like i remember when death parade was like a big thing like death parade was just an okay show it was kind of like a more tamed version of hell girl in my opinion and the only reason i felt like most people kind of watched it was kind of because of the opening the opening was just really good so people was just like yeah i'm gonna just watch this anime for this opening but yeah but yeah hold on also there's another thing too about manga like another thing i like about the manga as well it's 
it's one of those things where I, I feel like my first point is my only point because anything else I, I'm, I'm thinking about saying is pretty much a derivative of what I said originally. Like just you being able to have that level of control over the series that you're reading and over the way, like overall how it's being told. I just like that experience so much. Like it's just such a cool experience to me when I'm able to just breathe this certain level of life into a character and really just have them be way more enjoyable for me. And obviously this is like a one for one experience thing, right? Because at that point it's a personal experience where when you read a manga, it's kind of just like, because you're breathing so much life into it, it just feels like it's yours now. And I feel like that's just always been my thing. Like that's why, um, even now to this day, like I go super hard on some of the series that I like is because I read the manga and I've built this personal experience with it without needing the outside help of just other elements to kind of make it something more for me. Right. So, yeah. So that's that's pretty much it, man. Like, honestly, I think, yeah, that's all I have to really say. Uh, let me know what you guys camps are, like whether you are just full on anime, you're full on manga or you just don't care and just indulge in both honestly i feel like more people should just indulge in both like there's, there's nothing hurting you to check out the manga which is more con like is more canon content if you even want to boil it down to that i feel like that's such a simple thing to say but i guess that's pretty much what it is it's just canon content compared to the anime which might like inject filler and stuff like that here and there also that's another argument as well manga is more canon i guess but again overall like a story, a good story is going to be a good story regardless of like what you cement into it. But then again, like a filler could just derail a story like uh, like Naruto Shippuden. Like Naruto Shippuden fillers are just trash. But I mean, Bleach had amazing fillers and I'll always praise Bleach for its God tier fillers. But that's either that's neither here or there. But yeah, again, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what camps that you guys are on. Um, Transparent signing out and uh, peace.